Okay, so when we talked about permutations uh, in our last video, uh, one thing that I did not mention that I really do is permutations says order matters. So let's say we were we had a combination lock, simple combination lock. It's got three wheels on it, zero through ten. You could have a combination that went something like three, seven, one. Each of those as a different number. All right, so permutations say that three, seven, one is different from seven, three, one. You know, if you try to open up a lock and you say, well, I just know what numbers they are, but I don't know the order, with permutations, that would be hard. Now, sometimes order doesn't matter. Uh, so I think there are some lotteries where it's set up to be, uh, you're just looking to get the right numbers. Doesn't matter what order they're in, you just need the right numbers. And if that's the case, then we can do what are called combinations. So combinations, order doesn't matter. All right, so combinations, order doesn't matter, then we've got a different equation. Okay, so in our combination, we've got n possible outcomes selected k at a time. So we, we can do our uh, combination lock here, and we could see, well, how many possible combinations, uh, combinations of these numbers are there instead of permutations? Remember, combinations, order doesn't matter. So these 371 and 731 would be seen as the same thing. Okay, so let's give it a shot. So what it's going to be is n factorial divided by n minus k factorial times k factorial. So we get that k factorial in there twice. So let's do this one. So we've got uh, n equals 10 because we have 10 possible options 0 to 9 for our numbers and k we're selecting 3 at a time. Okay so let's do this. We've got uh, so n would be then 10 combination k is 3 this would be equal to n 10 factorial 10 factorial divided by 10 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial. Okay, what's cool is that we can actually simplify this down pretty quickly because we can write 10 factorial also as 10 times 8, or oops, I forgot 9. Give me a second. I can't count down. 9 times 8 times 7 factorial. That's going to be super handy for us. Then we can divide by Check this out, 7 factorial times 3 factorial. Then we can cross those guys out. And now we've got something a little bit simpler, 10 times 9 times 8 divided by 3 times 2 times 1. And if we, well, what the heck, let's go ahead and do it. So that can go into that 3 times, that would be 4. And then four, 10 times 3 is 30 times 4 is going to be equal to 120. So there are, even though that there's like, you know, if you have three uh, combinations, or th three of these, and we're, uh, we've got 10 of them, the total number of permutations, remember fundamental rule of counting, we can go 10 times 10 times 10, and that would equal 1,000 different uh, uh, 1,000 possible inputs for our lock. But when we're talking about combinations, if order doesn't matter, it actually gets crunched down to only being 120 uh, different combinations, as this definition is where the order doesn't matter.